Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. That means it's market outlook time for summer heat. This is going to be the first of probably a few market outlook videos for the summer heat promo that looks like it's going to be stretching out for a while with the first set of cards that are still in packs for another 10 days, uh, then probably a batch two and then a batch three. Uh, of these cards if it's going to be similar to last year with footies uh, that's kind of how this promo is going to go so i feel like this promo is going to end up lasting us until at least the end of july probably into the middle of august because again with the earlier or with the later release of fifa 21 in the second week of october they kind of have to stretch fifa 20 out just a little bit longer possibly for just a couple weeks so that might be why they're putting these cards in packs for so long uh, and maybe they'll do something else over the summer as well. But that's something else to talk about, something else to think about. Regardless, we're going to have more content and more stuff in-game on the menus this week in FIFA Ultimate Team for sure. That is almost guaranteed, especially the one thing that I want to focus on and I'm going to talk about right away is the first time that we should hopefully see a Summer Showdown special item. All right, we do have a lot of midweek games since a lot of the um, a lot of the league's top top four leagues technically because the league gun is done uh but the top four leagues that are still playing um their games kind of on a condensed schedule so i i think this might be something that ea since we haven't seen it yet is going to be doing during the week for content um on fifa and you know there's a lot of talk about how this is going to work the summer showdown items this is a really cool concept right and we talked about it when it first came out but we haven't seen anything yet. So basically, they're going to release a Summer Heat player item via SBC for one player on each team from the highlighted matchup. And then the winner, the winning side, that item will get a plus three boost if it's a draw, plus one boost, boost for both items. And again, I, I think there's only one way that EA is possibly going to do this. They're going to put the SBC out and the, SB, the SBCs for both, both teams, both players are going to expire before the actual game comes out. So they're going to make you decide whether you have to or which side you're going to pick or if you're going to do both SBCs. I don't know if they're going to if they're going to if it's going to be one SBC with the same cost and they're going to give you a player pick and you have to choose one of the two players or if they're going to allow you to do two separate SBCs and then you have both of those cards regardless. I'm not sure how EA is going to do that, but that's kind of the two scenarios that I see. Uh, for the summer showdown item and i think what we probably that seems like something we could see on like a monday or a tuesday so maybe today or tomorrow we see that it's out for a couple days then maybe for like a maybe for even the weekend game they put it out on a monday and then it's a weekend game i'm not sure what kind of games are going to pick for this what big matchups we have upcoming that they could choose but there's going to be a lot of games in the short term so this could be something that we see it looks like weekly, they said. So each week we'll highlight something. So maybe it's going to come earlier in the week. We shall see what happens. But I, I would 100% guarantee that we see something along the lines or we see a Summer Showdown uh, special item SPC at some point this week. Uh, probably more voting as well. I mean, last, what did they do? They started the voting on Thursday and we got the Jovic on Saturday. So... Maybe another voting SBC would come out today on Monday, which would give us the SBC on Wednesday, or maybe they're going to do like a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday type thing with these. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do, but I would expect another voting set to pop up here really soon, either today or tomorrow as well, uh, for another three player pick um, of players that we will get a Summer Heat SBC for later. We've gotten two objectives already, and we've had a couple SBCs, so I feel like we're going to get some of those. Uh, and then Summer Heat fan favorites. I feel like we're going to see one of these sooner rather than later again as well uh, is just having a re-released um, SBC card in foot. And what they said on the web page as well is uh, select Summer Heat fan favorites will see the release of new previous previously released versions uh, with boosted stats. So just like the Mendy we saw, right? Uh, I think it's not too far out of the realm of possibility if we saw like a, uh, a, a re-released is this a Summer Heat favorite? This is a Summer Heat fan favorite, the Perisic is. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we don't see one of these for the next couple days because we already had Perisic. But, I mean, they've been dropping the content pretty regularly. And it's been, honestly, pretty hype during this promo with all the content that we've gotten. I mean, you can upgrade. You can do the upgrade packs all you want. You can grind uh, those to do the Prime Icon. You can grind those to finish other player SBCs that are currently out. 
but I, I honestly expect more of those types of SBCs um, in this coming week. The moments guaranteed is very interesting to me because this is a non-repeatable pack. You can only do it once. It's untradeable and it's out for a week. They, they put this SBC out for a week, which, which was kind of confusing to me. This SBC as well, is it really worth it to me? Not really, but is it fun to do? Yeah, sure. Like if you're doing upgrade packs, this could be something that you craft, quote unquote, craft with an 84 rating. It's not a lot, especially if you get a TOTS player or if maybe you pack a team of the week card from doing upgrade packs. Those are pretty packable right now in the 81 plus or the 82 to 88. So you could craft this just for fun. To be honest, none of the cards are really going to make my squad, as you guys know. Um, but if, if there's one card that I could pack, I would love to get Davidson Sanchez because I haven't, I didn't do that Davidson Sanchez moments card. And that is something that's kind of kicking me in the tail right now because uh, I should have done that SBC as a, a Spurs fan and, uh, on this game. So anyways, we're talking about the market selling off as well. Uh, a lot of people keep asking me, What's going to happen this week with uh, with some of these card prices like that are in packs? The headliners, the shapeshifters, um, the winner refresh cards, and for basically all of these cards, Neymar right now is actually a smidge increase in price. He was like 2.9 flat yesterday. He's 2.99 right now. For basically all of these cards, they are still in packs. They're going to keep dropping. People do not have a lot of coins right now in foot as well. Just, you know, thanks to all the SBCs that are going on, there's going to be continually more SBCs released in this game. Uh, there's going to be more pack supply for these cards that are in packs, which is why I think if you want to buy any of these cards, Shapeshifter Messi would be one of them uh, that I would throw in this category as well. Shapeshifter Messi, uh, the Neymar, basically any card that is still in packs because it's re-released. I think you still want to hold on to these because people are packing them. People are uh, finding them in their packs. And they're going to be in rewards this week too, technically. Rewards this week on Thursday, which is one thing we probably should touch on. Rewards is going to be very, very intriguing this week. Just because the player pool of cards that you can get from rewards is honestly, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And I'll go take a look over here as well just to show you. There are TOTS cards as a part of rewards this week. You can kind of see the players in here. Uh, Libertadores players, like lower league TOTS, foot birthday, future stars, headliner. It's basically like if you go down uh, this list right here, basically if you go down the team of the week's list on footbin, it's like all of these cards, uh, you know, obviously one version, but it's almost like best of is in rewards, right? I mean, you've got, you've got uh, Mbappe, I think you have Neymar. Do you have Neymar Tots in rewards or is it Neymar? Wow, Neymar team of the season is in rewards. Is Neymar's uh, headliner in rewards? Did I pass the headliners already? Uh, Neymar, 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 Neymar. Where's headliner? Did I go past it? Therese Mertens, Gerard, Neymar. So wow, there's multiple versions of each card in rewards. It's just going to be very interesting to see like what rewards looks like this week because you have the potential to pack so many incredible players uh, I'm just really curious to see what the drop rate is on those cards. So it's going to be interesting to take part in that and to see what actually happens with weekend league rewards this weekend. But uh, other than that as well, uh, this week is probably just going to be another week of summer of summer heat. I don't really know if I can if I can count on EA Sports bringing the amount of hype that they have brought in the first couple days of this promo continually for throughout the rest of this week because some of the hype that they have brought are SBCs that are going to be here for a little bit a little bit longer time right the the upgrade packs are here for another week still the icon upgrade is here for another 32 days um you know they're the, the SBCs that they're bringing that would be continually hype builders would be like the re-release fan favorites so if they're if they're bringing out a lot of these fan favorites I mean they could keep bringing them I suppose but I feel like the content has to kind of simmer out for at some point uh, although it's been pretty fire so far, um, as they've released the Mendy, the objectives have been on point and, and, and spot on. Um, but a lot of you guys keep asking as well, how can I make coins, right? And I want to talk you guys through that as well this week, uh, because there's going to be more and more SBCs, more fan votes, and there's going to be fluctuations on the market that we can talk about, especially whereas right now during the week, if we have a day where there's not a lot of content, what people are going to continually do is upgrade SBCs and they're going to be doing those prime icon packs because those are just really, really fun for a lot of people. The potential to get a hullet of Zidane, you know, the R9 Ronaldo, the Ronaldinho, all of those cards, just having the potential to pack those is just is driving people to do a lot of these SBCs. And that has pushed SBC fodder 
through the roof, which you guys don't need me to tell you about these prices of SBC fodder on the market, which are absolutely crazy. I talked about this a little bit in my, in my YouTube video yesterday, but seriously, trading with fluctuations uh, on these high tier out of packs team of the season cards, like not 89 rated, 88 to 95 rated, honestly. This is such a good method. Like this Pozuelo goes from, you know, 90,000 90, coins to like 110 every day. Oscar goes from like down like 90K up to a little over 100K every single day. Uh, Van de Beek goes from like 99 to from 99 to 100K up to like 115 to 120 every single day. You, you look at their flipping graphs and you see the fluctuation. This is actually the way to trade right now. If, if you're grinding the menus and you need to make coins, and you don't need a lot of coins to do this. All you need is like 100K, honestly. Like that is a freaking buy right there for that Vandebeek. That is a big time buy for that Vandebeek because I know that I'll be able to sell that card upwards of like 120,000 coins tomorrow. I'm gonna listen for like 117 overnight um, because these cards fluctuate up and down as they appear inside of the SBC solutions, right? Because what, what you see and, and why this trading method works is and I will show you. Who did I just buy? Van de Beek? I will show you Van de Beek right now. Van de Beek is shown as one of the cheapest 94 rated cards in the game on PlayStation 4. He was just 107. Now he's 119. There's a 12K fluctuation right there, which is profitable in this in range where you have 6,000 coins of tax, right? Again, look at this. 102 to 162. That's unrealistic, right? 104 up to 114. That's that's fine. 100 to 120, down to 110, back up to 120, down to 105, back up to 115. You know, and, and look at Saturday as well. What happened on Saturday? He had a uh, 100,000 coins, kind of like almost twice his low points, and then peaked at 123. That was probably unrealistic at 140, but he kind of hovers between that 100 and the 120k range throughout the day as people are doing that SBC and when when like right now or before I updated this price, Van de Beek is probably showing up in some of the cheapest um, squads right now as you go to look up the cheapest solution on Footbin. He's showing up. So people are just going out and blindly following the solutions, which is what makes these cards fluctuate up and down. This is an absolutely perfect way to trade with the out of packs cards. That's the one that I like the most. Like Tevez, Valencia, they're in packs, so they might not fluctuate as much just because they have continual undercuts. Even though there's not a lot of packs opened, Tradable wise, I really like focusing on these TOTS cards. Gabriel for 80K. Look, there's a 5K undercut right there. Like this looks pretty cheap to me. Uh, he hit 78,000 coins and then bounced up to 88K twice today. What about Saturday? He went down to 80K and then again, bounced up to like 86, 87K multiple points throughout the day. So that's the kind of trading that you can absolutely do right now on this game with these cards, especially you know the weekend league sell-off is kind of ending. But open bids was really, really great to be on. Like late Saturday night, late Sunday night, and maybe even Monday morning as you're watching this video, uh, there might be some really good open bids that you could still go out and see and find on the market just because people are maybe selling off some cards that they had in their club um, from Weekend League. Uh, speaking of the Weekend League sell-off, there was a decent amount of a drop, but you're really probably going to see more panic throughout the week this week um, when they release SBCs, when they release content. This Lala has actually kind of held his price a decent amount. This is a card that a card that I check often for like a gauge or a meter on how much panic there is because he's very rare and very valuable. I mean, this guy was 380k at one point in the weekend, but there was panic earlier in the weekend. I think it was like Friday or Saturday, one of those two days. He was like 330, 340, and he bounced right back up. Just watch for those those panic type situations. If we get a right back summer heat card. Uh, that comes out, right? If we get a right back card that comes out, just like we saw a panic and a big time sell-off in team of the season, Alex Te Tejas, when the Mendy objective came out, this guy was extinct, you know, a couple weeks ago at 550,000 coins. And now he's on the market at 300K uh, just because people are doing that Mendy, you know, and we just got already the sale on that Vandeby card. So we just made a solid little chunk of coins right there in Vandebeek. Bought that at 95 on an undercut, sold it at 117. And you can tell the cards that I'm kind of trading with right now, just a couple, uh, are exactly cards like this Vandebeek that are now out of packs, team of the seasons. They're fluctuating because of people doing the icon packs. They're buying these as a part of the 88 rated squad you need for the icon pack. So these cards are really great to fluctuation trade with. And you can honestly trade with, like I talked about trading with the 
when these players get supplied, right? I, I mentioned Shapeshifter Lucas is one that you can trade with this week. Lucas Mora is like 80K right now in the weekend league sell-off, which is really low for him. Uh, his Shapeshifter card. Um, because this is actually a pretty rare card on the market. And when we get a tradable SBC release, like when they release one of those tradable pack supply SBCs during the week, which I would guarantee that we see at least two or three of those this week, you're going to see some dips in price. And the, the cards that are more rare and more valuable, uh, like this Lucas Mora, does not have a very high pack weight and he's very affordable, especially with everybody doing the Adambale SBC as one of the first Summer Heat SBCs a lot of people did. Uh, people use this Lucas Mora card. He's down from 100K on the weekend. Is he going to continue to drop as he's in packs for another 10 days? Absolutely. But you can kind of play with fire a little bit if you want to and watch these guys fluctuate um, throughout the day as maybe we get some tradable pack supply in. Um, you know, I didn't see a lot of tradable pack supply come into the market tonight from uh, squad battle rewards, at least not much. Uh, but that is something to watch for during the week. If we get like a 25K pack SBC, that's going to be a possible like flip situation in the short term, kind of like it was earlier this year in like September, late September when the game started in October, when EA was releasing those pack supply SBCs every day. There was a, a period where everybody would go do that 25, 35K pack SBC, the market would take a dip, and then it would come back up uh, on some of these cards after the supply. And that's something that you can, you can absolutely trade with. I did it last week with Bruno Fernandez. Um, and this guy has more hype this week because of the United game and, and United fans actually getting to see him play again. So uh, this card is not a live item by any means, but it almost operates like one just because United fans love to use their Bruno Fernandez. So uh, that's just something to kind of think about as well this week with the fluctuations on some of these cards. Um, but for most of the cards that are in packs, again, we talked about all of these cards that are currently in packs, like the headliners, the shapeshifters, a lot of these guys are going to continue to trickle down in price. Ben Yedder is getting low, 730K for this card. He was, uh, you just remember on like Friday and Saturday, oh yeah, look at this, 807, down to 671 with the Kent SBC panic. It didn't come, so my man rose back up, and now he's been kind of in the 740K range all day, actually, so it's not that low, but again, if there's a big SBC that is supposed to be coming out, or like maybe um, we know something is coming, like uh, let's say the next vote that we get could be a big time player, like maybe a Lang Lei Summer Heat player would come out, or maybe um, maybe a Bruno Fernandez would be in the vote for um, one of the Summer Heat voting options for a fan vote uh, SBC. Then you might see some panic like this. And if the SBC, the player that does win, uh, you know, there could be some hype like this with Kent again, but. I don't know if that Kent situation will really be repeated. Just watch out for Panic this week. And then speaking of, of cards that are coming out, right? Let's say like the Jovic card came out. You might have seen a swing up in price of like Eden Hazard's Inform. You know, if it's a really, really popular player that a lot of people want to use, kind of like that Ndombele card. I think that's why you saw Lucas rise this weekend. Uh, let's say they released like... I don't know. I, I can't think of an example off the top of my head, but just look for some link investments this week as well for SBCs. Oh, the perfect one. The perfect example is uh, the Alfonso Davies card. Alfonso Davies rose up a bunch. His team of the season card rose up like 100K is I think what I heard uh, after the Perisic SBC was released. This guy's 390,000 coins. He's up a lot after the Perisic SBC was, was released. Uh, just because of that link that you needed with with that Parasitch to get those guys on chem. So just watch out for some stuff like that this week with TOTS cards, especially linking to any of the new Summer Heat players, uh, because that's what people want to use in their teams, the new Summer Heat cards, and then TOTS cards are really new as well. So watch out. Hopefully this week we get some tradable pack supply and maybe a break in the SBCs so that we can see the fodder drop down in price a little bit. I would be a big fan of that if we saw fodder drop this week. I don't think it's super likely, uh, but again, it's going to be a week of more SBCs, more objectives, and just more content in, in terms of players, votes, and then just the ability to continually grind the upgrade packs and to grind league SBCs too. The, like, the, tr the amount of coins you can make right now, if you want to spend the time and grind, it's there. The opportunities are there for you to make coins, and this is also an opportunity at the end of the game to use your coins, to do upgrade packs, to have fun, to get these new boosted players, which EA is doing a very good job of. I'll, I'll hand them, give them applause 
uh, for the players they've been putting out, the selection and the stat boosts have been thumbs up. Uh, and this promo so far has been a W, in my opinion. It's been a really, really nice W and kind of maybe a slight surprise, I guess you could say. Uh, but that's the market outlook for this week, boys. More SBCs, more content, more rising prices on SBC fodder, most likely, and dropping prices on the cards that are in packs. Hopefully, we get some sweet voting and some summer showdown options this week as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.